So I bought this book the other day, and reading through it I found some really interesting things I thought I'd share with you. Fact 1. Sometimes it takes a little longer than you expect for mail to get delivered. For example, a postcard was delivered 79 years late after having been sent in 1929 from Birmingham on Crotch in the UK. It was intended for a Mr. and Mrs. Richardson of East Dulwich, London. The first recorded use of the word dear as a salutation was in about 1250 AD. Fact 3. We didn't always have the postage stamp, and before then, the receiver rather than the sender paid for postage. However, if you were lucky, upon receiving a letter, you would have found out that it had been franked. Franking a letter required a member of either House of Parliament. Roland Hill invented the modern postage stamp on the 6th of May, 1840. It was known as the British Penny Black and standardized postage so that the same fee would be paid no matter the distance traveled. If you're a resident of the UK and you'd like a letter from the Queen, all you have to do is wait until your 100th birthday, 105th birthday, any birthday thereafter, or until your 60th, 65th, 70th, and thereafter wedding anniversary. This has been the tradition of the British Sovereign since 1917. A letter or note which is sent anonymously and which has a malicious intent in order to upset the recipient rather than demanding blackmail is known as a poison pen letter. The term Dear John letter, which probably originated around World War II, refers to any letter sent by a wife or sweetheart of someone serving in the military overseas, usually during wartime, which informed the recipient the wife or sweetheart wished to call their relationship off. From 1927 to 2003, the Royal Mail in the UK ran an underground rail system under London known as the Mail Rail. And finally, according to the USPS, mule trains carry mail, food, supplies, and furniture down an eight-mile trail to the Havasupai Indians at the bottom of the Grand Canyon. Links down there if you're interested in this book or in the websites which I got further information from. And click on the octopus at the end of the video if you want to subscribe. You know you want to. Everybody likes a good cephalopod. I wish I had